Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be going over making 26 sided spheres. I know I just came out with a sphere video, but I think this way of doing it is a little quicker to execute, a little simpler to execute, and it also leaves you with better orientation on your sphere uh, faces so that you can make things out of uh, square floor tiles or square roof pieces or other square pieces like this little uh, proximity switch here. Um, I am going to be using some glitches, uh, including the universal adjacency glitch, the wire glitch, and the reverse wire glitch. If you have any questions about those techniques, you can check out Criss Cross's No Man's Sky Building 101 video series and learn all about it. I'll have a link in the description. With that, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is create a flat wire with an endpoint that represents the exact center of the sphere you're trying to build. So for me, I'm gonna choose the very center of this cube piece here. So to make my flat wire, you can make your flat wire however you want, but for me, I'm gonna use this light floor, store it in my cache, duplicate the cube, and universal adjacency, that light floor right here. I'm gonna move this out a bit, just so I have space to work, and I'm gonna build this light floor like that so that this bold line here is right at the top of the light floor. That way, when I pull the wire, it's oriented uh, upright and flat. So next I'm going to build a cube there and reverse wire from this location here and attach it to the light floor. Then I'll reverse wire from the center of the sphere here and connect it there. I'm going to move our cube out of the way and I'll grab a small raised paving and I'm going to build that here just for later. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch to wire mode, and I'm going to wire glitch that raised paving right here at the center point of our sphere. Next, I'm going to universal adjacency glitch a cube right on top of this raised paving. So duplicate the cube, store it in my cache, duplicate the raised paving, and we glitch in that cube right on top of the raised paving. Now we can delete the raised paving, duplicate the cube. We're going to move the cube down one position here and we're going to reverse wire glitch from here. So reverse wire glitch and connect like that. So we start to make a Z shape. Next, we're going to go down to here and then we're going to reverse wire from here and we're going to go ahead and complete that Z shape just like that. Now we can delete this cube and we can delete that connector wire there and we're left with two flat wires right on top of each other like this, exactly one half of a cube above or below each other there like that. So there's one half cube distance between these two wires like that. Next we're going to, with the cube, wire glitch the cube directly onto this wire here, the lower wire. Then we'll duplicate that cube, we'll, or with the cube we'll move that out like this, and we're going to reverse wire glitch from here, just like if you were making a circle from, you know, square floor pieces. We're going to pull that into the center point here, and wire glitch and we'll get that 45 degree turn here so we have one straight cube and one 45 degree cube and we're going to go ahead and pull those down like that and then delete all this and so now we have these two cubes here kind of moved out of our way next we're going to do the same thing except on this upper wire so we're going to wire glitch in our cube build out and then reverse wire glitch from here to our center, we'll wire glitch, and now we get the same thing, and instead of moving down, we're going to move up, so we'll go up like this, and then delete these lower ones. Next, we're going to use the cube again, and we're going to choose a face to start with, so whichever one you want to start with, choose it, and then we're going to reverse wire glitch, pull into the center of our sphere, and then wire glitch. So just like making the circle, except now we're adding an extra angle, you know, a three-dimensionality to it. So now we're gonna wire glitch it in, and we see we get a uh, turned cube just like this. Next, with the cube again, we're gonna go over one position from where we started. So just one, one face over, like this, and we're gonna reverse wire glitch and pull into the center again, and then wire glitch. And we're going to do that four times. So here's number three. And then one over from number three, we'll do number four, just like that. 
And the important part is it doesn't matter where you start, which face you start with, as long as you go in order, one, two, three, four, you know, in sequence around the circle here uh, when you do your wire glitches. So after you do that, what you'll get is these four cubes here looking just like this. So from there, all we have to do is a little adjustment for a half a cube distance. So to do that, we're going to stack these raised pavers right on top of each one of these cubes. So I'm going to grab a raised paver, store it in my cache, duplicate a cube, and universal adjacency glitch. And now we can see I've stacked a raised paver right on top of the cube. So I'm going to do that for all of the other ones as well. Now we can see they're all capped with those raised pavers. And now I'm going to put a cube on top of each of those raised pavers. So I'm going to duplicate the cube, store it in my cache, duplicate a raised paver, and then I'll glitch in the cube. So now just like this. So now I go cube, raise paper, cube. So I'm going to do that for each of the other ones as well. So we do that all the way around for all four. And once we have that, we can remove all those raised pavers and these original cubes we made. And then we can move all the parts in for the final sphere scaffold that we're making. So we move these in like this. And now we just need to build six cubes right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's all six built. And now we can remove all these cubes that we used. And what we'll be left with is this sphere scaffold here. And if we grab a pyramid piece, we can see we have a top here, and then we have this top belt here, this top ring, oriented at 45 degrees, and there'll be eight snap points all the way around that one. And then we have this middle ring, and there will be eight snap points all around this, and they will sometimes be oriented like this, but if you just hit the rotate button once, you can see they do have a flat version of themselves there as well. So all the faces can be oriented uh, the same way. And so this will have eight all the way around as well. And then this bottom belt here, this bottom ring, will also have eight faces all the way around. And then you'll have a bottom cap here as well. And so that will give you a total of 26 sides. What you can also do is, say, leave out every other one on the top and bottom belts. Uh, and that will give you uh, eight less sides there, so uh, an 18-sided sphere and that has a slightly different look to it. Um, here we can see a, you know, 20, 26 sided here. Uh, just missing one face there. And that's pretty much how it works. Um, all you have to do, you know, is use that pyramid and grab a shape that you want to use. Uh, one that's kind of cool is this hexagonal table. Store that in our cache duplicate our pyramid and just start glitching it in wherever, uh, wherever we snap on. And as you snap them on here, just using universal adjacency, you will build up whatever part you're using into a sphere. And that's pretty much how it works. Uh, one really good idea is to use light boxes and universal adjacent glitch light boxes onto each of these positions and then you can make um, spheres of all different sizes just by stacking in and out with those light boxes. So that's pretty much how you do it for this new quicker version of a sphere. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. All right.